Good morning again, Highlanders, and here are the morning announcements. Good morning, Dunedin Highland Middle School. You guys are also doing a great job fundraising. Just a few announcements for you this morning. So you have two more days to fundraise at least $30 to be in the color battle. So that means you have by this Thursday to fundraise $30 to be in the color battle. That's all it takes is $30 and then you'll be able to play games and throw color on everybody. It's going to be so much fun. If you have a cashier check that you'd like to turn in to be in the color battle, please find me in the lunchroom and we'll be able to get you in. Or if you have lost your access code, find me as well in the lunchroom and we'll be able to get you a new one so you can fundraise that $30. Okay, and for last night's winners, we have for sixth grade, Miss Vaughn's class, for seventh grade, Miss Benley's class, and for eighth grade, Mr. Milo's class. Give everybody a round of applause. Good job, everybody. And for tonight's challenge, we have it's going to be a ticket challenge. So, whoever, whichever first period class raises the most money, each participant in that first period class will get 10 tickets. 10 raffle tickets to be entered into the drawing that will be pulled at the color battle event. Each ticket goes so far in helping your chances, and I know 10 tickets may seem a lot, but it's definitely going to help you out, I promise. It's going to be so much fun, and I look forward to seeing you guys all at lunch. All right, have a good day. All right, Highlanders, today in Red Ribbon Week is Wacky Wednesday, and so students were encouraged to wear wacky clothes in specific colors for their grade level. Sixth grade's color is blue, seventh grade's color is green, and eighth grade is purple. Tomorrow's dress-up day is Throwback Thursday, as we pledge to be drug-free. want to let students know, if you remember the Save Club, the Save Club is not meeting this week. Repeat, the Save Club is not meeting this week. Remind students that students with no tardies between uh, October 15th and November 4th will be invited to our no tardy party on November 5th. Also, the five students with the most tardies in each grade level will be placed on pass restriction and have to be escorted when they need to leave the classroom. Be on time to every class every day. Students and families can choose whether to wear a mask or not, and all choices will be respected. Pinellas County Schools strongly recommends the wearing of ma masks, and we have plenty here at school if anyone would like one. With Halloween coming, I want to remind students that we are not allowing Halloween masks or candy on our campus. Please leave those items at home and enjoy your Hall Halloween celebration on Sunday. Also reminders to students, the cell phones, earbuds, and headphones are not allowed. Also hats, hoods, and head coverings are not allowed. Our lunch menu for today is spaghetti and meatballs, chicken tenders, apple a day salad, and turkey club wrap. I want to update our students on our iReady World Series that continues this week. This week's winners were Mr. Renfro's fifth period class, Mr. Renfro's first period class, Mr. Renfro's third period class, Mr. Renfro's seventh period class, Ms. Egger's first period, and Ms. Litton's sixth period. They all advanced to the second round to take on Ms. Egger's third period class and Mr. Mrs. Litton's fourth period class. They were the top two seeds entering the World Series, and so they will face off this week. Remember, students, it is the percentage of lessons passed that we are looking at, so get those pass rates up this week, and you'll be able to advance to the next round. Students, our basketball tryouts do start coming up on November 8th. I just want to show students how to get to the paperwork because students, you have to have paperwork finished and completed prior to tryouts on our website. This is the Dunedin Highland Middle School website. Scroll down to this link that says basketball tryouts. It will open up to the basketball tryouts page. Here you will see information on the girls tryouts that will be opening to show you the flyer of the dates and times. Girls tryouts will be before school and boys tryouts will be after school so there is the girls tryouts information the boys has the same type of link there and then down here there are forms to click on the middle school participation packet student accident insurance which your parents must pay for the release waiver and also note students you have to have a physical that is less than one year old our coaches for girls are mrs meredith and for boys is mr pelican you can see them with any questions basketball tryouts coming up november 8th through the 10th We are excited to celebrate Red Ribbon Week, October 25th through the 29th. This year's theme is Drug Free Looks Like Me. There are dress-up days every day of the week. Monday is Wear Red to show commitment to being drug free. Tuesday is Twin Day. Wednesday is Wacky Wednesday, where we encourage grade levels to wear different colors. Sixth grade wear blue, seventh grade wearing green, and eighth grade wearing purple. 
Thursday is Throwback Thursday, and Friday is Rep Your Favorite Drug-Free Character or Superhero. It's Red Ribbon Week, October 25th through the 29th. PTA Reflections is an art program available to all students nationwide. Last year we had several winners both at the district and the state level here at Dunedin Highland Middle School. And so I encourage students that are interested in the arts to participate in PTA Reflections. The theme this year is I Will Change the World By. And so there's information on entries on the PTA website. All entries are due by October 29th at 4 p.m. in the front office. For rules and entry information, visit dhmspta.org. We look forward to seeing your entries. As always, students, if you have a conflict with a peer, please seek the assistance of an adult before taking matters into your own hands. Here at Dunedin Highland Middle School, we use the Say Something app. If you see something, say something. The app is on the front page of our website and it is the fastest and safest way to report any type of suspicious activity or bullying. At Dunning Island Middle School, our rep is respect, excellence, and pride. Have a great day. Go Highlanders!